science with me. Science with me. Cause that's news on the science with me. Stanley the skeleton, all bones and no skin, on Halloween night would be made to stay in. His mama declared, You'll scare each little child. Poor Stanley looked eerie, but his soul was so mild. He thought and he pondered and then hatched an idea. The children are frightened because they no see him. It's not that I'm evil, macabre or dead. I just don't eat pasta, nor pizza, nor bread. My folks are from Italy. I've been there. It's grand. Mamma mia, what the statues, the buildings, the land. But never, no, never did I like how they eat. And that's why I'm like this, all bones with no meat. If I taught all the children about all of my bits, they'd know that I'm friendly and won't have such fits. Oh boy, I'm gonna teach them all of the names of all of my bones and how theirs are the same. So off went poor Stanley to find the kids' school and show them his bones so they'd think he was cool. The teacher said, Sure, Stan, you go right ahead. When we understand others, the more peaceful things get. The children all shivered with fear in their chairs. Their fingers felt frigid and up stood their hairs. But Stanley was happy. He raised up his arm. And as he started to teach them, they loved his sweet charm. Come listen, I'll tell you about all the bones found in all of our bodies, not just mine alone. Let's start with the cranium. It is known as the skull. Repeat it two times now. Come on, one and all. And the children said, Cranium! Cranium! Skull! Good work, friends! Said Stanley. The kids were in awe. This here is my mandible, also known as my jaw. And holding my head up, you see it back there, is my long spinal column from my neck to derriere. The children now louder said, Mandible! Mandible! mandible jaw! Spinal column! Spinal column! Back! Each piece of my spine is called one vertebra. There are 33 back there. Oh, mamma mia. The bone at the bottom, that I call my sacrum, ends off with my coccyx sitting down in my bum. Shouting very loudly now, the children all said, Vertebra, vertebra, spine. Sacrum, sacrum, bottom. Coccyx, coccyx, bum. That's good. At my thorax, you find ribs, but they're not for grilling. Although boots from these bones can make quite a killing. At the top of my rib cage is where my collarbone rests. It's known as the clavicle, and that is no jest. And laughing quite loudly, the children then said, Rib cage, rib cage, thorax, clavicle, clavicle V, collarbone. My ribs join in front on my chest at the sternum, Stan said. There are lots of bones, but I'm sure you can learn them. As the children all smiled, some were heard even to chuckle. <laughs> and Stanley with pleasure cracked his dry bony knuckles. These fingers, he said, and the rest of my fists have three types of small bones found below this hubris. The carpals come first, then metacarpals. They grip, and phalanges are tiny, and make your fingertips. And standing up now, the children all said, Oh, here we go. Sternum, sternum, chest. Carpals, carpals, wrist. Metacarpals, phalanges. Metacarpals, phalanges, fingers. In my forearm, the radius and ulna you'll find. They're found in all forearms. Come here and see mine. The humerus is located above these two bones, but it's just not so funny, because when you slam it, you groan. With obvious glee, the children then said, Radius, ulna, radius, ulna, forearm. Humorous, humorous, upper arm. And now, friends, the pelvis, a thing that's so hip. They all got the joke and they laughed at his quip. Below, there's a big bone, the femur. Come see, it goes down my leg and it ends at my knee. And dancing around now, the children all said, Pelvis, pelvis, hip bones. Femur, femur, thigh bones. 
Nutella. I'll tell you, in Italian means pan. But don't use your kneecap to fry eggs and ham. Below are your shin bones. The tibia is one, the fibula's the other. Kids, we almost are done. Then jumping up quickly, the children then said, Patella, Patella, kneecap! Tibia, fibula, tibia, fibula, shin bones! Yay! Yay! And now, friends, I'll finish with talk of my feet. My heels call calcaneus, and the others are meat. There are tarsals and metatarsals, and then just like your hand, the phalanges, the smallest in your toes, help you stand. Seeing that Stanley was all finished, the children sadly said, Oh, calcaneus! Calcaneus! Here! So far, so good! Tarsals! Metatarsals! Tarsals! Metatarsals! Feet! I think you got it! Phalanges! Go on! Phalanges! Go on! Tarsals! <laughs> Our hero learned something that day in the school. To be true to yourself is the thing that is cool. If you're different and someone is repelled when you're present, try to make them see how you both share something pleasant. The children came forward and gave Stan a hug, saying, We won't be scared now or hide under the rug. So Stan has new friends, and tonight he is seen trick-or-treating with others on this fine hug. Halloween! Trick or treat! <laughs> now give me something good to eat! 